Adobe have finally added an AI upscaler into Photoshop, which can go all the way up to 400%. And this time it uses AI enhancements to fix up, sharpen and enhance any type of detail which is lost when you are upscaling. The absolute minimum that the image has to be is 128 times 128 pixels. And the maximum that you can have 4096 pixels times 4096 pixels. Anything larger than that, you won't be able to go above that. And I do also need to mention that this is currently in the beta version. So if you want to use this feature, you will need to go into your creative cloud, go to all apps, go into beta apps and install Photoshop beta. Now, ideally for this type of image, the best thing to do is to first expand it before you upscale. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the crop tool. You want to drag the corners out while holding alt. And we're going to set it to the recommended, which is 1024 times 1024. Once you've done that, we're going to set the fill to generative expand, and then go ahead and click on generate. This will just fill in that empty gap. And there we go. That is a decent result. That is very interesting. You can already tell that this is a small image just by trying to enhance the details on the variation. It's just far too small. From here, we're going to select both layers, and then you want to convert it into a smart object. We're going to go to image, and to upscale this, you want to go down to generative upscale. This will give you the option between times two, three, and four. If you've already set yours to 1024 times 1024, you can easily hit 400 pixels. Go ahead and click on upscale. You can already see straight away, this is upscaled this image. And we already have a few little changes. You can see just by the face, we have the before and after. But other than that, it still looks fairly similar to the original. We do lose a little bit of this big detail in the eyes. It does look different. But if this really does bother you and you want to have the original image, what you can do is you can select this mask by using the brush tool. You can set it to a low opacity of around, let's say, 50%. And then by making the brush larger, we can use a black color and then just slowly remove the areas you want to keep as the original or you want to blend with the enhancements. We're just going to slightly bring this one back and then also this area as well. If we have a look at this, you can see it's already starting to look similar to the original. We've still kept the enhancement. It's just blended it with the original. Same goes for this one as well. This one is a little bit darker now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to blend it and match it with the original. And there we go. That's looking better now. Another example that we have right here is this person. Let's say that we wanted to crop this person down and set it as a profile picture. We can just set it to the crop tool. We're just going to scale this down right up to here. The 1000. 24 times 1024, position it right here and then press OK. Now, with this one, the biggest difference is the large drain that we have. It's very noticeable. You want to remove this before you upscale. So, to remove the noise, we can go to filter, go down to camera raw filter. We're just going to zoom in and then going down to detail you can increase the noise reduction and then also color noise as well and then slightly sharpen this back up. You can see the before and after. And then we're also going to remove the artifacts before upscaling this. All the way down to the bottom, remove JPEG artifacts. There we go. That's looking better now. Set it to current layer. And now we are ready to upscale this. If we go to image, down to generative upscale, same as before, times four, and then upscale. And there we go.
you can already see the big AI enhancements compared to before and after. It has also slightly changed some of the facial features. You can definitely see the eye is a little bit too far out. But like I said before, you can always correct this and fix it with the adjustment mask right here. We're going to make this one back to default. The eye right here as well is different. This one right here as well. And just bring back a few of the little details that were there before. And just bring it back slightly. Not everywhere needs the enhancements. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a really soft baby face. So if we have a look at this now, we are getting closer and closer to the original. But yeah, that is pretty much it.